Hi guys, this is Victor from webautomation.io. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can scrape products from Etsy, which is a global online marketplace for products where people can make, sell, and buy or collect unique items. Um, so we're going to do this using web automation's predefined extractors, uh, which are ready-made uh, scrapers, which can scrape um, the most popular websites in the world without having to write any code. Okay, so let's get started. Um, to get started, you need to sign into your web automation account. If you don't have one, you need to sign up for a free trial so you can follow this video. Once you've signed up, go back to the homepage um, and then you can head over to the marketplace. So the marketplace is where all web automations, predefined extractors live. Um, as there's so many extractors, we can do a search for Etsy to look to find the Etsy extractor. And there we go. So we can see this is the Etsy extractor. Uh, it's got some details about how to use it, uh, what kind of data you're gonna get back, uh, some screenshots um, and some sample data. Uh, and of course, the sample data, it's really important so you can see a preview of how the information is going to look like. Uh, if you're happy with the preview data, uh, go ahead and click the big use for free button. And off we go. So you're going to be redirected to a landing page, which is an activate page, which just tells you to confirm if you want to go ahead and activate this extractor. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Now with Etsy, all you need to do is put in a URL from Etsy. Um, so this could be multiple URLs. So you could either put a URL for an actual store, uh, you could put a search URL, uh, or you could put a product URL. But for this particular example, uh, let's go ahead and do a search. So let's do leather bags for women. Um, and then we got, you can see we have uh, a lot of results. So let's filter it down a little bit um, just so we can get some data to show you guys quickly. I'll just do some random searches, uh, filters, and let's see how many results we have. Uh, we got, so let me add a little bit more filters just so we could get very few. Okay, so we have 49 results, that's okay. So what we need to do once you've done your search and your filters, just copy the URL exactly, uh, head over back to web automation and replace the existing URL and updates. You get the confirmation box saying the starter link has been updated. So at this point now you need to click the big one now button and off we go. And now this is where the magic happens. Uh, so you can see it started. Uh, so we need to just wait a few uh, minutes. It's not a very long scrape. And then we can see what the data looks like. So we can see uh, status is completed. Uh, so let's have a look and see what the data looks like. You can download as a CSV, XML, Excel, JSON or JSON line. I'm going to use Excel because I have that open. Save that to my local and see what this looks like. Okay. So there we go. We have the name of the boutique, uh, selling the products. Uh, we've got the description and we've got images, the name of the product. Uh, we've got the price in dollars. Uh, we've got some product details, URL and the time it was scraped. So we can see quite easily how we've been able to scrape Etsy uh, without writing any code in just a few minutes uh, using web automation's predefined extractors uh, quite easily. Um, as a bonus, I'm just gonna show you guys how we could get some more data from Etsy. So what you need to do is head back to web automation, go into your extractors, head over to your Etsy line, and edit, um, go to starter links, and then you need to replace the starter links. 
So you can replace it with a search, uh, or if you just wanted to scrape a particular shop, you can, you can include the URL from the particular Etsy shop with your filters, um, updates, run, and you get that data uh, pretty quickly and easily using Web Automations tool. So thank you guys. I think I've shown you very quickly how you can use Web Automations tool to get your products from Etsy. Um, let me know if you have any questions um, or comments, uh, and we'll be very happy to look into them for you. Uh, but otherwise, I'll see you at the next video. Thank you very much.